previously on the Matty Balls YouTube channel. Right now, a rapper is threatening to sue me for exposing his scams. Bora has been scamming his fans through his clothing brand, Yours Truly Clothing, since 2018 and has also scammed through other methods. No rewards, no updates, just $65,000 gone of backers' money. If you look at any review site, you will see an abundance of negative reviews, with many people saying that they never got their stuff. The Better Business Bureau has opened up an investigation. Anyways, the website has since been shut down, and he he also cleared his personal Instagram. He was playing nice in my comments and then tries intimidation tactics in my emails. He even complimented me in the comment trying to look like some sort of nice guy. So at the time I was fine talking to him and like I said I had no personal grudges against him but now I do. Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Manny Balls, and as I'm sure many of you are aware, I've made a few videos recently on a rapper named Fora. My first video was primarily about how he was using his clothing brand, Yours Truly Clothing, to scam his fans. Then, a couple days after posting that, I got a cease and desist from who I later found out was his manager, not a real lawyer, basically telling me to take the video down for a variety of reasons. Now, I personally think it's a little bit sketchy that he took this course of action rather than like DMing me and saying, hey, uh, some stuff is wrong. Let's let's clarify it in a video or please take the video down instead he just threatened a lawsuit and then was acting all nice to me in my comments which was pretty weird this is a very very brief summary and i'll make a playlist and put it in the description with the first two videos in this one so you can watch them in chronological order if you aren't familiar with the situation but we left off with a cease and desist with Fora's instagram cleared and the yours truly website was taken down many people have also been asking me if he's sued me yet or what's going on with that and no i've not been sued yet um i do know about a youtuber who told me he got a cease and desist and it took nine months for the actual lawsuit to be served but i don't think he will because i need to have to prove what i'm saying is false that his stuff isn't fraudulent and that no laws are being broken with what he's doing which definitely is happening so we'll see if that goes anywhere but i don't think it will and uh if you guys have any more questions feel free to ask but i'll keep you guys posted on my youtube community or my twitter so we'll see again if anything happens in the future but the main reason i'm making this video is because fora has actually returned to instagram started releasing music and also brought back his clothing brand yours true so I figured um, we should just take a look at the Instagram and see what's going on because it's kind of entertaining. So right here, he came back a few weeks ago and said, uh, I had to accept my failures, some losses, took a couple to the chin. I'm used to being the underdog, the hated one, the doubted one, bunch of garbage in here. But he doesn't talk about his clothing brand issues or his scam or the big beef, which was kind of a big deal. I mean, it was consuming his comments. Most of his fans were aware of it. So it's pretty interesting. And then immediately the comments, what about the merch, the doubted one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely especially after the scamming lies and no refunds so he's already getting hated on i'm sure plenty of comments have also been deleted because like i talked about in my previous videos he's known for doing that then he posted a few more times and you have tons of people in the comments saying you do the same shit for your recent project give us everything you owe give a refund waiting on hoodies and shirts that i promised my little sister to get for christmas two years ago and i still haven't received anything i used to look up to you but you're a scammer with issues oh that's cool new merch i wonder how many people you're gonna scam this time what excuse you're gonna use now so he released some music and then made the post uh, that yours truly clothing was back yeah a whole paragraph talking about some garbage making excuses whatever and he did say that he's cleaning up the last of what needs to be cleaned up and still have a lot more to say but he's relaunching yours truly and then of course people are commenting are you actually going to ship them though what is it that's stopping you from publicly fully addressing the missing orders and if need be the apologies hey fora i know you see these comments how about you stay true to your words it's for the fans what the fans want they want their orders or their money back that is true someone else said i'm still waiting on three orders need my last order before i purchase again it's only right so yeah all the top comments are just full of people saying that they never got their stuff and it's surprising that these aren't even deleted yet so where we left off last time was he said something about making things right he kept constantly saying he was going to make things right and instead of making things right he just releases merch again which is weird like i would think you'd want to get that sorted out and then release merch because now no one's going to trust you no one's gonna want to buy your merch after he launched yours truly if we head over to their instagram here's the first post and this is what they said to our dear fans and supporters we know it's been so long since we've launched we've been building back up to become bigger and better your support has been everything to us and without you yours truly wouldn't exist now i want to emphasize bigger and better because from what i've heard their entire team quit so it looks like they're smaller and probably worse if i had to guess we've had some ups and downs yeah definitely ups and downs that's for sure and uh, that would never stop us from doing what we believed in with a brand new fulfillment center printing factory and headquarters in la we're ready to go full force and become one of the biggest brands in the world as well as promptly take care of any past issues orders or inquiries that you may 
have. We're excited to take you on this journey with us. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So this is interesting because it does seem really nice. It seems like, hey, we're, we're going to fix the past issues, but they're not from what I'm seeing and hearing from other people. So it looks like a lot of comments on here were deleted and the description was changed, but I'm pretty sure they were offering vouchers at one point for people who never got their stuff. So I will put on the screen right now some of the DMs I've seen of people who said that their vouchers either weren't working or that they didn't get the right amount of money that they said they would get in the voucher. It looks like it's possible they're trying to fix stuff, but it doesn't really seem that way when they're already doing a new drop. Just doesn't really make sense to me. And then if we just keep scrolling through their posts, you'll see stuff like I want to buy something, but these comments let me know what I need to know. Oh, uh, that's cute of you guys to drop more material while I'm still waiting for my package. He ain't going to do shit about our missing orders. He can't even respond to a DM, but they do act like they care by responding to comments so others can see he's making it right. And this is a really good comment because this is really what it seems like to me. Like this guy commented on my first video and said, hey man, really good storytelling and editing, but I've been through so many troubles in my life and I just want to make this right. And I know I've had some mistakes. Other people have had a lot of mistakes too, but I know I'm the face of the brand, so it's my fault but I'm working on it and I'm going to fix it. But I mean, it just doesn't seem like anything else is, is getting fixed. You know, anyone else discount code doesn't go through or it's just me. So this is what I'm talking about with the vouchers. Me too. I don't know if my code was meant to be for someone else, but it didn't even work. They sent me the wrong person's code too. Still isn't working. I can't tell if they're still trying to scam us or if they're really just this disorganized. They said they sent me the proper code, but now it's not working. There was an error well, no matter what card I use. Mine said the same thing. So like giant mess, man, this, this brand is a train wreck. It's a dumpster fire it's crazy that people are still buying stuff like i said in my uh, first video when you have fans that are loyal they're not going to be reading reviews of your website they're not going to be reading comments they're just going to jump straight to the website when they see a drop and buy something because they want to support you so when you're taking advantage of that when you know you don't have your shit straight it's just kind of stupid to me like this is exactly what i'm talking about i low-key never got something i ordered but i'll give it another try because i love you no matter what that's crazy to me. Same. Someone else said same. See, this is what I'm saying, man. You're taking advantage of your fans' loyalty. It's crazy. Someone right here is saying your new launch is hella cute, but I'm pretty sure I speak for a lot of us when I say that we are skeptical of buying again. I lost almost $300. So yeah, that's basically his Instagram. I also got some interesting DMs from someone who bought from the latest drop, never got their order confirmation or their shipping info or anything like that. They reached out to yours truly on Instagram and then they got blocked. That's pretty crazy. It seems like this brand is a whole dumpster fire. They don't know what they're doing. Nothing's working well. And I also didn't have the chance to clarify this in my uh, last video I did on this situation because I got the information right after I posted it. So I put it in the description, but basically I talked to someone who worked very closely with this brand. Obviously, I'm not going to say who it is, but you guys can trust me. It's a thousand percent reliable source. And they told me that, like I suggested in the first video, the majority, maybe even 90 percent of people are getting their orders. But this company is doing so many orders, like an article about them on Black Friday said they did like 300,000 orders in a weekend, like something crazy. So when 10 percent of people aren't getting their orders, that's a lot of people. And as you can tell by the comments, there's tons of people who are not getting their stuff. So it'd be cool if this got worked out. It'd be cool if he was able to figure everything out, get everyone their money, get everyone their merch, whatever you need to do. Do. So I guess I'm making this video just to tie up any loose ends and update you guys on what's going on and probably warn some Fora fans like, hey, maybe don't buy his merch because there's like a 10% chance you won't get it. Also, Fora, if you're watching this and thinking about suing me, I don't want to, but if you do, I will have to respond with a class action lawsuit because there's a lot of people that reached out to me that really want to do it. I think there's one person who might actually be filing one right now as we speak. And it's, it just seems like a lot of work. So I'd really rather not have to do that. So please don't try to sue me. That'd be pretty lame. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, honestly, I wish nothing but the best for Fora and his future. I think, you know, I got love for everybody. I think you just got to get your orders straight, get your fans right and be on with your way. Nothing wrong with that. And I'm probably not going to speak on this on the channel anymore unless something absolutely crazy happens. So hope you guys enjoyed this little update video. Uh, I'm going to have a new video coming out ASAP. It'll be a regular type of video. But yeah, other than that, this has been Many Balls. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in a few days.